I gotta relax. I gotta relax, man. Round of applause, Devontae Harris, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Love, 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 love. Hey. Shelby Walker Show, man. Episode, what we, 19? Um, and, and this is something that we've been trying to do for a while. Um, me and him go way back. We actually played together against yes, each other in college. Yes, sir. First start, Texas A&M versus SMU, and I caught an out route. Yeah. <laughs> you was actually one of the little corners, and what I was so happy about was I'm like, it's finally somebody I can block. Because like, <laughs> you scrappy. Like, you know, you would not know. He's, if, if you know anything about him, you know, he, he's definitely not soft on the field. As a little guy, you got to – you understand the yeah. – the, the underestimation people bring yeah, to you. Yeah, definitely. Most so definitely. Um, we, we don't got a lot of time, but I do. I do want to walk the people pretty much through where you are today, being the Harris House of Heroes right, right, owner. Right, 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 you know, right, right, in right. Uptown, Dallas, Texas. We just had Shaq there. We'll get into it. Um, but walk us through you getting to the league. Mm-hmm. Or oh, I'm sorry. Let's let's go back. You went to. You didn't go. You, you didn't go to Mesquite Horn. You yeah, I did. To, you I did. Okay. Yeah, I graduated. I graduated from Mesquite Horn High School. Wow, you see, I do my research, yeah, people. Yeah, you yeah, see, Shelby yeah, Walker Show. Yeah. This you know is real, saying? man. I, I graduated so, from Mesquite Horn. Got to Anm. Got to Anm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say you were one of the guys on film. Again, I'm a freshman now, people. I'm 145 starting against Texas Kenny Hill. <laughs> I'm starting. Look it up. You know. So they ain't throwing me the ball much, but you know, <laughs> yeah, you but know. he was t- he was hey, out there though. He was in the field. I'm out there, number no, nine. No, no. Yeah, and no, no. you were scrappy. You were one of the scrappy hard corner guys. So it, it it didn't it didn't shock me that you got to the league being that chip on the shoulder type corner. Mm-hmm. Um, doing, you get to the league, right? Your dream, as far as you grinding, playing football the whole right. way, yeah. And then now you are at the Saints, right? Undrafted free agent, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So shout out to all the undrafted free yeah, agents, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, y'all have so. a different y'all y'all are on a different type of um time, yeah, wavelength. <sighs> I, I, everything I matters with y'all. With y'all. Most definitely. Um it's, it's it's nothing guaranteed, literally like day to day. That's what's in your subconscious. Yeah, yeah. Um was it everything you thought? No, sir. Absolutely not. Uh it actually was just a head start, in all honesty. And looking at the grand scheme of things, that's what you know it is. It's a head start. So that could be my best advice to a person coming out, coming out of college, whether you draft or undraft or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You make, and, and, and it's two things. Like, you know, I'm talking to, from experience mm-hmm. because, you know, so I done been on the active roster and the practice roster. You there know what I'm saying? So it's guys who just only do the practice roster and you can only do it for three years. So even though you getting that good money, what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? You got to take it with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's more so, that for me was a head start. Mm-hmm. Like it was a, okay. it was the ability to buy a business, make a business. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get a lease on a building and mm-hmm. actually put things into perspective. Okay. And, and actually be that for my family. You right. know what I'm saying? What I've always dreamed of because I've always wanted to do stuff outside of football. It's like if if you've been a plumber your whole life, you mm-hmm. want you know what I'm saying? And, and you, even if you love plumbing and you, you know plumbing is going. Feed your family for the rest of your life. You want right. to do other things. You want to, you know what I'm saying, feed your artistic. And what side. it sounds like to me is what, what, I, what I'd love to jump into mm-hmm. is a lot of people only saw you as a football player. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you yourself know that you have other talents. Yeah, most definitely. And for someone smart, you made your money from the Saints, I think, to the Bucks. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. when we linked up. Yeah. Um, in Atlanta, we did a lot of interviews, radio role. Mm-hmm. Um, fun, we we definitely, time. definitely met, met, met a lot of people. And that was kind of when I kind of stumbled upon, like, okay, I'm actually, I think I can do this. Yeah. Um, this this media, this podcast thing, and that's kind of what jump-started my, I would say, podcast kind of career into yeah. taking it more serious. Yeah. Th- me doing something like this, I'm reaching out to people I've connected with, um, a lot of times it can get weird like that, right? Yeah. But when mm-hmm. things are genuine, yeah, things are genuine. You know, it's it very is. easy to do. Yeah, you know, and it comes off natural um, yeah. on the content, as y'all will see. Now, from the Bucks to not being in the league, mm-hmm. having to rebrand yourself into how am I gonna feed my family? You right. spoke on that earlier. Right. That was right, one of the right, things right. that was. Now, did you have a kid at this time? Bef- no, are you I- transitioning? What, so what is the family looking like at this point? I had a, I had a kid before I uh, before I transitioned, but mentally, I transitioned after my second year. So while I was still with the Saints, mm-hmm. 
that seed had already been planted in my mind. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like when people don't really know, so yeah, the I've had the restaurant however long I have, a year and a half, but I actually had that lease a year and a half before I actually opened. You mm. know what I'm saying? So I planned before. So it's something that like I don't you don't have to be this much better than this person that's business or planning. Mm-hmm. You just gotta catch that wave. Yeah, just do it with enough time to you, you can be able to fail. So even I had it maybe a year and a half, mm-hmm. so I knew that it could fail in that time and I could still pick it back up and I right. could still present it to y'all as a successful business. Now, you know I do want to cut you off right here. Um, what goes into that type of thinking? What goes into, let me buy a building. I'm not even going to start nothing yet. I have yeah. this idea. Was that some mentorship? Is that just you being your natural hustling self? Is, is that you... Maybe having a, a a woman in your ear. That's that's what, what was it that got you that thing? Because a lot of people probably would have did that. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a combination of things. I'm very impressionable, bro. Mm-hmm. I've always been impressionable as a child. So, you know, I've always been in the movies. And the Godfather mm-hmm. shows you that <laughs> investing <laughs> early in business mm-hmm. is you know it's key. It's key. Like so, it's like you have to do it if to be successful. Like because you. You can ride away for so mm-hmm. long. In all honesty, the, the league is a wave. Like, yeah. nobody playing but, except for Tom Brady past day 30. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. you know what I'm saying? So, there's going to be a wave. It's going to be one day where you're not going to matter in the paper sometimes mm-hmm. no more. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if you're still owning them buildings and you still right. got them leases and you're making money behind the scenes, your family going to always be fed. You know what I'm right. saying? So, that was... And then that mixed with, like, my father played in the league for a little bit. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? Mm. So he played in the league for a little bit. I always respect the kids that dad did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, got yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of people, you know, I, I know a lot of juniors or people who, mm-hmm. um, again, father got there and then they tried to reach there. It's tough to do. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. subconsciously you're almost living into, well, dad, I'm going to get to where exactly where you got from. Exactly, yeah. And it could be very, um, you can get lost in that. Yeah, you can get lost in that. Um, yeah. So, you know. You know, big ups, fam. What I'm tripping on, man. I got the round. Of, round of applause for you, actually. Oh man, well, thank you, thank you, thank you, bro. You know, thank getting you. to that because it is tough. Thank it's, you, man. it's super tough. Um, again, that subconscious, you're like, man, my dad got there. I gotta get there. Yeah, and for me, that's all. That's really all I wanted to do. Mm. Bro. Like, so I didn't have any backup plan until I got there. Like, so you know, what, what you're saying that is, it's, you know, it's sometimes it's a pressure, sometimes it's not. For okay. me, it wasn't a pressure mm. for me to go to the league. Okay. Even though that, I know I wanted to make a lot of money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I know that for me, I knew I didn't want to have no job. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, honestly, because the league is a job. Yes, it is, but it's not the real world and the culture. It, your people will tell you that mm-hmm. you're still sheltered by that college field. You're right. still sheltered by a few things, but mm-hmm. like I knew that I wanted to be my own boss in that aspect. I wanted to like success is being comfortable. If you yes. a billion dollars, a mm-hmm. billion dollar guy. But your your bills are a million dollars a month. You're not rich, right? You know what I'm saying. And for me, it's moderation in my living yeah. and getting the most money as I can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. That way, I can not only live comfortably while I'm here, but when mm-hmm. I leave, my kids your kids are gonna be good. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's my whole thing. And I know for me, the league it got me the head start in that, but mm-hmm. it wasn't it was gone. gone. It's gonna, gonna happen regardless. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was it's gonna, gonna happen regardless. It was gonna end. So it is what it is. But you know, I, I had a few like uh workouts after I left okay. that I declined. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that, you know, people people heard people kinda of found out about it and said I was being like unworthy mm-hmm. or selfish mm-hmm. or like not taking advantage. But mm-hmm. for me it was like I'm trying out to make a team that mm-hmm. I'm gonna make. Two hundred fifty-two thousand, four hundred fifty thousand, however you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. after taxes. Right. And out and that, and out of twelve months, mm-hmm. I'm only going to see my son four months out that year. Mm. Like so that's that, tough. That, that go into it. You that's know what I'm saying? Tough for you. Like, cause my daddy was there for me every day. Like exactly. I had a father in my life. I came from a two-parent household. Same. You know what I'm saying? So I know that how important that is as a young man. Man. Like I, even as a young child, but as a young black man. Right. Come on, fam. Man, let me tell you something. I saw my dad. Pay the mortgage, pay the light bill, pay the mm-hmm. gas bill. The only thing my mama had to worry about really was making sure we had school clothes, doctor's appointments. So for me, it's a, you know, I have to be able to do that for a woman Most before definitely. I can even take her serious. Most definitely. Like, it's Most just definitely. because that's how I saw it. Mm-hmm. It's like I haven't even really earned the right to take care of you, yeah. right? If my finances aren't right, you know what I'm saying? To me, 
I mean, yeah, we can rock together, but I'm not. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm not, not moving in with you. Yeah, so I can take care exactly. of your whole lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you right. gotta you gotta approach women, especially certain women. You gotta approach Real them time. the correct way. The ones that you want to last anyway. Yeah, exactly. That's now, how I feel. I I want to close with this because I know we gotta get out of here. Mm-hmm. Um, surviving through COVID. I, I I'm not. Listen, people, I'm not the restaurant fat guy, but I understand that I think the toughest year for a restaurant is the first year of business. Yes, most definitely. Now, add the first year of business with COVID. us already knowing that in COVID. Yeah. Surviving through that. Talk about the owner's perspective of the whole pandemic, how it affected your pockets. You making an investment. You did the right thing. Let me wait a year before. You open up. COVID hits. Now we got stipulations. That was that was like a why God moment. Mm. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's what it is. Like you, you, you God, I did it. That, that, look, 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 COVID, the pandemic gonna have your ass in the room talking to God, talking real, just like me. Like hey, God, look, okay, look, I did right. Right. I'm so like, yeah. why are we doing this right now? I know, like, so you, in in coming into this game, I played football my whole life. That's mm-hmm. all I ever did. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I had one other job. I worked at Hollister for. For uh, four months, right? You know what I'm saying? Got fired from there. Mm. So shout out to all the people that's been fired. I yeah, been yeah, fired, yeah, man. yeah. Getting fired is man, sucks. it's real. It's that's sucks, tough. but it gets fun yeah, yeah, yeah. after the fact. That it make you grow get, as a person. Yeah, yeah, it make you get your priorities in order right then and there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's gonna make you or break you, but yeah. But that uh, why God? I'm listening. Why God? Like, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just because. All my mentors coming into this game, it's like I'm a rookie when I first came in. And mm-hmm. mind you, like here I had to, because my because God, thank you, I, I thank you so much that it took off so fast. I right. had to become a boss. I had okay. to become like I it can't, damn near made you so much tougher. Like yeah, if I can survive yeah, yeah. through this, I can survive through anything. Ne- you're you know actually saying? gonna go down in history, right? Mm-hmm. When you think about it, the yep. McKinney pandemic history. When people talk about that, yep. what were the restaurants that survived through this? We yep. got a black owner right here, literally. Sure. I remember where people, I, I want to say this about the uh, Harris House of Heroes too. People like the conflict happens in white bars too. Yeah, most definitely. Nobody, most nobody definitely. <laughs> blows it up. It's, yeah. oh, they're fighting their clutch. Fighting. Look, at the, look, at, look at them fighting. Look at the, there are conflicts everywhere at bars. And I want to say, man, y'all do a, a great job. Man, thank despite you. Despite what a lot of people say. Thank you, For man. what it could actually get to, to... Again, well, we've seen it. Any other thousand of bars that are in uptown, you done been in, if you done hit the den, if you done hit yeah. any of these spots. Yeah. Kung Fu. They're fights in there all they the time. Fight, yes. When have you tweeted, oh, the Kung Fu? Man, get out of here with that. So yeah. shout out to the House of Heroes, all the security, all of y'all, man. man I, I think I y'all do take, a great job. I want to take what you said to challenge us as black people mm-hmm. because part of that is our fault because we we feed into that mess. We feed into that. You know what I'm saying? These white people fight, man. Look, they they fight, they argue, they get it out the way, they go home, they they raise their kids. Right. Like us as black people, <laughs> exactly. we pulling guns, we doing other stuff, we putting stuff on on social media, man. That's just you know support I, each other. Yeah, man. I can't. I'm not finna be just the one piece just to turn yeah. that thing around. So mind you. I'm the type of dude where, you know, I'm, I'm going to protect me and mine. You right. know what I'm saying? But Absolutely. coming as a guy who done been through a lot of stuff that mm-hmm. people talk about that have been through and rap about that they right. went through, fam, if we can just come together, like, I and agree. it's been, it's, it's been, you know, I don't even want to get me on some religious shit, right? Because it's been like since religious days of us as black people. But, you know, us, man, we just need to come together and not, like, it's, just take Things with a grain of salt, you know what I'm saying? I'll, Everybody I'll, ain't militant, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Us as black people, man, we should love on each other a lot. I'll more. say this. I don't know if you were into anime, are you? Oh, I was when I was young. Okay, so yeah. like the Naruto's. So the, the, really, for me, it was Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, yeah. okay, everybody. My yeah. older brother, shout yeah. out Jared. You the reason why I'm an anime nerd. Yeah. yeah All the people out there anime. I'm going to do an episode with Myron this Friday about anime. But that's I want to say this. Heroes, that's why it's called, because it's after anime. anime. Like Dragon Ball yeah. Z, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Nice. Yeah. So... Dragon Ball Z tag, man. Um, it's a it's a new anime right now called Yasuke. Mm-hmm. I challenge all, a lot of everybody to watch it. It's one scene in the movie. It's about the first black samurai that fought in Japan. True story, based on true events. And there's a scene to where there's another black dude, mm-hmm. and they're fighting on opposite sides. And once someone killed the person that they were all fighting because of, yeah. 
the fight was over. So both the black dudes was like, well, damn. Well, at least we made it out alive. Yeah. And the main character walks up to the other black character and he says, man, thanks for hesitating to kill me. Earlier back there. Thanks for hesitating to kill me. That's deep. It's, this is the first time I've ever seen this on film to where they, it li they literally were enemies. After the fight was over, there was no reason to fight anymore, and they looked at each other, and one of them said, thanks for hesitating to kill me. That is what these white cops have the luxury of, and white perpetrators mm -hmm. have the luxury of doing. 100%, 100%. There's a reason why these cops pull out less deadlier weapons. Yeah. I've said this on a couple episodes, but I keep saying it. They're looking at the people who look like them. Yep. They naturally hesitate. They naturally in their subconscious think, he looks like me. Maybe there's a better way to go about this to not kill him. Mm -hmm. They do it subconsciously. And in this anime, in Yasuke, mm. the exact thing happens. And black people, is, we shouldn't be surprised of why. Because if we were in the same situation, yeah. we would do the same thing. Mm -hmm. We would do the same thing. And in this... You know, uh, again, we're dragging, but I think it's important to say and to close with, you know, yeah. thanks for hesitating to kill me. Yeah. A, a good advice. <laughs> and they looked at each other and said, nah, if we meet up again, I mean, we both gonna kill each other. But on this occasion, I appreciate that. Thanks for hesitating <laughs> to kill me, man. And I, I wanna close, I guess, with the Shaq. We had Shaq in the House of Heroes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got right. a funny story about Shaq. Story time with, with, in with Shelby. Yeah. I'm laying up with this chick. And. If you have talked to a woman in Prospect Park in Houston, just hear me out. The Bottle Girls, or any girl there. Shaq visits this place a lot. He, he He's there. We're laying up in the bed after we did some things. You know, shout out to her. <laughs> you funny as hell. Shaq <laughs> FaceTimes her. Mm. I'm looking like, that says Shaq with the money bags. Yeah. So, I said, pick that shit up. Pick, pick up the phone. <laughs> pick up. Oh, it's that move. Pick up the phone. She like, hello? Hey, what's up, baby? I'm deep voice. I'm like, oh, this shit, that's Shaq. <laughs> me and Shaq, Eskimo brothers. So if you're a nigga, a lot of, a lot of people, man. <laughs> hey, me and Shaq, Eskimo brothers. Shout out Shaq. Shout out her. Shout out all parties involved. Um, Drake just recently broke up a marriage, allegedly. <laughs> the dude flew him and the girl out. Drake flew the married couple out. They about to get married. Drake flew them out. And... The husband makes an Instagram post like, it's over. Imagine your dream's coming true. You're about to marry your side chick or your your, your wife. She's a ride or die. An opportunity comes. Y'all get flown out and everything. <laughs> the whole relationship. So shout out, bro, listen. Um, what, What's her name? I, I'll put her name at the bottom of the tag. Um, But Drake, that other guy. It's not bad being asking my brothers with Drake. I'm asking my brothers with Shaq. So, man, um, Shelby Walker Show, episode 19. My guy got to go, man. Anything you want to close with? Any shout-outs, man? I know. Man, oh, it's, 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 shout-out um, to Shelby Walker Show, man, for bringing me on. Real talk, man. I've been knowing. I've been rocking with my dog for a while, man. He a good dude. Always been a good dude. Always been solid, man. So I just appreciate, you know, the positive message that you spreading to our black people, to all people. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate you, bro. Uh, shout out Harris, I see heroes. What we got tonight? They gonna see this tomorrow, but yeah. oh, so we got the single tomorrow tonight. It's so gonna be lit right I, now. I'm probably gonna end up going. But yeah, my roommate yeah, talked me into going. It's gonna Shouldn't be go, lit. but I'll be there. It's gonna be uh, lit, man. <laughs> Real talk. Shout out my dog, man. We've been. What is, which I got? Y'all got anything tomorrow? Um, uh, any any upcoming events? Tomorrow is R and B night. So I do have a. Uh, I just had a um celebrity basketball game. I'm okay. Having a celebrity bowling tournament. Okay. Um, in June, mid June. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's gonna be coming out so you make sure y'all tune into that um and expansion when we were supposed to do it about three weeks ago mm -hmm. you was in houston right, right are right, you right. think is that something that we can talk are you thinking uh, about expanding the house of heroes too or it's a or possibility is this in the works? it's a possibility mm -hmm. that's why i went out there and i brought okay. my staff as well just nice. you know to get other eyes on projects but uh, you know, I don't, don't want to talk too much on that, okay. but okay. yeah, cool, it's cool. a possibility and it's cool. something to smile about. I'm going right, to say man. that, though. Hey, Shelby Walker Show, man. Mr. Harris himself. Here's House of Heroes. Turn up, man. Shelby Walker Show, episode 19. Told y'all, content every yes, week. Sir. We bring in the best guests in Dallas, like yes, sir. with the best people in the city. No cap. MJ, B. Benz. We, no hey, cap. I'm rocking with y'all boys, man. Um, I'm bringing y'all along, too, so... 
Uh, cozy cuts to co- I mean cozy. They be, yeah. I know they do the promotion. Cozy, yeah, the, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We teeing up with cozy. Okay, man. I'm gonna say I know y'all be partnering yeah, up. So yeah, shout man. out to all the cozy. Shout out to all cozy man. We sure. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sugar Walker Show, man. We out. All right, man. Let's get the round of applause. Man, I'm ready, man. Yeah, yeah.